Welcome everybody to the DJ Tutorials right here at Street Level. I'm DJ Johnny Price, your teaching artist, and we're gonna get on another set of DJ techniques. Last time we focused on the three scratches, the baby scratch, the transform scratch, and the flare scratch. And we went over some, some characteristics of the equipment and some old stuff and also some new stuff as well. We're gonna, today, we're gonna get into much more details and you're gonna learn some new scratches. All right, so let's get to it. The first scratch we're gonna get into will be what's called the slice scratch. Once again, as a quick review of your characteristics of the DJ system, you have your mixer, you have your crossfader, you have your up and down faders, right? So let's pretend you have music already going. I like to scratch on my right hand side, and that means my fader hand is my left side. Rule of thumb, when you're scratching, consider your strong hand, your strong hand that you write with as your fader hand. I'm a lefty southpaw, so my fader hand is my left hand. So when I'm doing the slice scratch, it's pretty much a scratch where you have two notes. Two notes where you're slicing up the samples. You have, I'm gonna be using the ah sound. Right? So, when I'm doing a slice scratch, basically, I'm playing the sound or the sample forward, and then as I'm, cl I'm opening the fader on the push, and I'm keeping my hand, once again, on the record at the nine o'clock position. Remember to always put your hands at the nine o'clock position, and always palms up, not palms down. Keep your fingertips on the record. And you're pushing the sample forward. And then when you pull it back, you start to close the crossfader. Once again, open, close. When it's in the middle, it is open. When it's on the sides, it is closed, okay? So once again, I'm gonna open the crossfader and I'm gonna push the sample forward. And then I'm going to, as I'm closing the crossfader, I'm going to close, as I'm pulling the record back, I'm gonna close the crossfader, but I'm chopping the pullback. This is pretty much a basic scratch. It sounds very basic, but it's a basic scratch which will get a lot of DJs started when they're getting into the range of motion of scratching. This is the slice, once again. Now let's hear how it sounds with a beat. That is the slice scratch. Remember, when you are scratching, consider the hand that you write with is always gonna be your crossfader hand. I'm a lefty, so my crossfader hand is my left hand on the crossfader. And always consider fingertips on, and you're on the nine o'clock position of the record. Don't forget, you have the 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. Have your hands on the nine o'clock position of the record and tips, palm up, tips down as you're pushing your record. And you push the record forward, and as you're opening up the crossfader, as you're pulling the record back, you close the crossfader. Don't forget, open and close. Open, close. Push the record forward, open at the same time, pull it back, and you're playing, you're chopping off the back sound. That is the slice scratch.